pregnancy test. There's some things that happen. What, that behind, behind the bedroom door? Behind the bedroom door. Ooh! Hold on. You found a pregnancy test in our trash can? Well, if you know yours, then... It... <gasps> I think the only one... Left... Alex, yes, I know, Doc! <laughs> one day at a time always has to make you cry if it's one way or another. Alex, we found it in the trash. It's not mine, not Abuelita's, not Elena's. How is it not yours? Because it's not, all right? What other explanation is there? It's impossible. We haven't had sex, okay? <laughs> what is the message behind that storyline? Well, it's about talking. It's about really talking to your kids about their sexual health. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of households don't. Mm -hmm. I think it's also talking about safe sex. Yep. She's a nurse, so this is all health related for her. And we have a really great episode with Alex that I really like where he talks about not being ready, which I just think we've never really seen from male perspective. a male perspective. And so it's great. It's really great to have a season where we have our very handsome boy character decide he's not ready yet. Wow, that's powerful. You're yeah. right, because we always see it from the girls not ready, yeah. the girls not ready. And I hear ready. this amongst people. I hear like that this generation is a little bit more, they're putting that off a little bit more. And I think that's really great. Mm. Okay, Do so it when you're ready. Solid advice. Yeah. What did it mean to you to be a part of that episode telling that story? I mean, for me, it's just, it's, I guess it's just showing like one day at a time does in many ways. It's showing that these things are normal and that there's not really one way to feel about something just because society tells you to feel uh, a certain way about it. Um, so that's, I feel like it's, it's always great to have those conversations and, and start those conversations with your family where it's like, I mean, if, if you're not ready or, or especially in a teenage, you know, relationship, um, it's good to, to be open and, and have conversations and talk about this because, I mean, you're still growing up, you're, you're, you're not only learning about other people, but you're still learning new things about yourself. So it's, it's important to, to make sure that that you're 100% okay with, with what you want to do. I'm pregnant. So does this mean you're happy? Yes. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, congratulations, you two. As far as Nora and Alex's relationship is concerned, what is next? Are they serious? I mean, <laughs> they're looking serious. We have, we. I want to keep filming. We haven't finished the the season, so I don't know what's gonna happen. They get along. They're really cute together, and I. And the great thing that I like about it is that everyone gets along. Everyone in the family gets along with Nora really well. It's I like know. You're scared of of like maybe you know Lydia, constantly <laughs> being mean to her like she is with <laughs> with Elena. Yes. Because that would have been a little crazy and, and dramatic. So yeah, I like them together and, and I feel like it starts getting more serious every episode a little bit. I mean, that's a very serious conversation to have for two 16 year olds. Like, and a yeah. very like aware and mature, like I've never met 16 year olds. When I was 16, there wasn't anybody being like, are you, are we ready for this next step? Especially the dude, especially a Latino man. Like. It was so cool to see that happen and Marcel portrayed it so beautifully and hopefully it reaches people and young men because I feel like there's so much pressure on them to do this thing that sometimes they don't even want to do. They just feel like they have to.